Katie, and welcome back to another Crafternoons with Creative. So for this year's DIY costume Halloween video thing, because I'm in so many fandoms, I found it really hard to try and figure out what character I wanted to make. So I decided to make all of them. So I've made one from the theatre fandom, which is Heather Chandler from Heathers, Joyce and Eleven from Stranger Things, Bandit Snow White from Once Upon a Time, Katniss from The Hunger Games, and Velma from Scooby-Doo, which I technically wouldn't say that I'm in the Scooby-Doo fandom. However, I think Velma is awesome and detectives forever. So enjoy my last minute DIY Halloween fandom costumes. Let's go. For snow, I used a loose white blouse and I topped it with a beige vest and a fake fur vest. Then I put it all together with a brown belt. For the bottom half, I used brown tights and brown boots. I also like the idea of carrying a bow, even though I accidentally gave myself welts on my arm because I couldn't do it properly, but it's all in the name of fun. For 11, I decided to go with a blonde wig. However, you could also pull all your hair back if you wanted to give the shaven head effect. And I also added the bleeding nose thing by drawing it on with eyeliner because it's creepy and it's awesome. I used a pink dress and then I coupled it with a purple 80s style jacket. She actually has a blue one, but I thought the purple one worked just as well. And then I wore some sports socks with white high top converse. Yes, Joyce is my fave. So for Joyce, I wore a green jacket and a striped shirt and jeans. I also carry fairy lights and a telephone everywhere because I feel like that's Joyce just summed up and just yell for Will a lot. For Heather C, I used a red blazer and a white collared shirt. I also wore a plaid red and black skirt with high white socks and black heels. For the croquet mallet, I used a random pole that I found and I stuck it on a toilet paper roll. You know, DIY, you just can't beat it. And of course, I had to have the red scrunchie. For Katniss, I used the classic brown jacket with a black shirt, black tights, and brown boots. The main part of the costume I found is kind of the standard braid that she has, and also the Mockingjay pin. My favourite book of the series is Mockingjay, so that's why I chose to wear this pin. And I also happen to choose yet another bow-carrying character, even though I can't do it. Well, we'll see, I might have to practice. And for Velma, I used an orange dress and a different orange tone jumper, but you could easily just do a dress and a shirt. And the essential is pretty much the wig and the glasses, and you can even carry a magnifying glass if you want to. I also wore some white socks and some little cute heels to complete the look. Anyway, that was the Crafts and Oons for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. So let me know in the comments if you use any of these costumes, because that would be awesome, or what you're already dressing up for for Halloween. I would actually really like to know, because here in Australia, we don't really celebrate Halloween as much as America and other countries, so I really like to know what people dress up as because we don't always get that opportunity So that's why I've got to make these videos just so I can dress up for myself My sister's doing HSC and I'm doing this. It's just amazing and make sure to hit that subscribe button If you haven't already, I would really appreciate it and I'll see you on Saturday with the normal the Katie Diaries video. Bye <laughs>